Hello again, I am Blunty. GoPro, the name in action cams. The people who basically invented the entire consumer category of action cams have just announced their newest action cam at an event in San Francisco. They call it the Hero 6 Black, rather predictably. It hits shelves immediately, and while it looks identical to the previous model, which is a good thing, it retains compatibility with existing accessories, especially things like GoPro's own gimbal grip and Karma drone, on the inside, it has, we're told, a significant upgrade. The Hero 6 Black captures 4K video at 60 frames per second, 2.7K at 120 frames per second, and 1080p at 240 frames per second, frame rate performance which doubles that of its predecessor. It does this with a new custom-designed image processor. GoPro call it the GP1 and say it does all kinds of nice stuff when it comes to image quality, dynamic range, stabilization, and even speed of the file offload. In short, it is their defining factor. It is what sets them apart from all the other action cams out there, which mostly use almost identical guts between them. And this is all fantastic stuff. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for an upgrade significant enough to justify finally upgrading my very well used and battered GoPro Hero 3 Black. However, GoPro have taken a rather abusive choice in their pricing for us Australians. They've chosen to flat out rip off Australians. As a matter of fact, there is no other word for it. We are being ripped off. And indeed, they are also ripping off many, if not all, non-American customers by jacking up local prices well above what is reasonable or common for such devices. The Hero 6 Black is 499 US dollars, which in a flat currency conversion is about 635 Australian dollars. Now, that's not how pricing works. Companies need to account for currency value fluctuations. There's import duties, shipping, taxes, all that kind of stuff that boosts the price of such items above a flat currency conversion. However, GoPro have chosen to price the Hero 6 at 750 Australian dollars, $115 more than the US price converted, an 18% markup. 18%! By way of example, to put that in perspective, the Xbox One X, sure, not a camera, but it is also a luxury electronics item and comes with similar taxes and stuff, it too is priced at $499 US dollars. So it too, in a direct conversion, is $635 Australian, but its local price on an Australian shelf is 650 Australian dollars, a 2% markup. Same price in American as the Hero 6, but $100 different in Australian prices. But let's look at a more direct comparison. How about another one of GoPro's own products? The Hero 5 Black, the immediate predecessor to the Hero 6. It lists at 399 American, which converts directly to 508 Australian. The actual listed price on an Australian shelf is 570 Australian, a 12% markup. How about one of Sony's action cameras, the HDR AS300? It is 298 American, converted to Australian, that's 379. Australian shelf price, 433, a 14% markup. The Panasonic G85, my current personal choice for my main cam. It's fantastic, by the way. In the US, you'll get it with the kit lens for just under a grand. Converted, that's 1275 Australian. Same kit on an Australian shelf, 1399 Australian. A 9% markup. I could go on and on naming examples, but that price difference is very, very consistent. And as you can see, the price an Australian may expect to pay for cameras is somewhere either side of about 12% over a directly converted American price, even for other GoPros. Meanwhile, the Hero 6 Black has been given a markup more than double. 18% versus 12%. And by now, I'm expecting comments pointing out that I don't have to buy a GoPro. There are plenty of alternatives out there that have the same feature sets and blah, 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 blah. And yes, some of them are quite good. I've reviewed more than a few GoPro clones, as it were. And yes, they are priced significantly less than a GoPro of equivalent features. Which is part of the reason why GoPro has been hemorrhaging to death in the last couple of years. They're in deep trouble. They are not making profits. Their share prices have plummeted. Their solution to this seems to be price gouging, hoping people forget that the internet exists and we can check this shit. As I said, I've looked at and indeed reviewed many alternatives to GoPro. The features and image quality on many of them is in fact very, very nice. But 
the user interfaces, the menus, the reliability, the battery life, and build quality are not often as good as a GoPro. It's one of the reasons I like GoPro, and one of the main reasons I never switched to any of them for my own personal use. My Hero 3 Black, as you can clearly see, has had a very tough life. It's been beaten to shit. It has been to show after show. It has been to several different continents with me. But it is still in 100% working order and has never, ever skipped a beat. It has never let me down. Not even once in the many years that I've had it and been using it. But as my workflows have moved to 4K sources for clarity and editing flexibility, and as the other cameras I use have been upgraded around it, there is a wider and wider gap in the image quality between the GoPro Hero 3 Black and the cameras I'm currently using, so it becomes more jarring to mix that into the edits. So I've been using it less and less, and I haven't even had it in my gear bag for the last couple of shooting trips I've done. I've basically retired it. I've been waiting very patiently for GoPro to hit that 4K 60 mark and the 1080 240 frames per second mark. The 2.5K at 120 frames is awesome too. Lots of flexibility wrapped in a brand I've come to trust for great image quality, great interfaces and rock solid reliability. Well, rock solid reliability except for their Karma drone, which when they launched it had a fault so dumb it made the battery streak loose and the damn things plummeted out of the sky without warning. But I never owned one of those so I never suffered that particular ridiculous design flaw. So I was pretty excited about the Hero 6 Black until I saw their pricing and vulgar markups for Australians. And it is vulgar. Their abusive pricing structure is not even restricted to these wide brown lands with the world's best beaches either. So I invite you to check for yourself and leave a comment. What does 499 American convert to where you are? What is the Hero 6 Black actually priced at where you are? And how does that compare to the average markup for cameras and luxury electronics in your slice of the planet? Is your markup as vulgar or even worse than Australians? Is it better? Let's find out. Me? Well, now I'm forced to think about either abandoning GoPro altogether just on principle alone and never buy another one of their products ever again and never recommend one of their products ever again because this is just repulsive. Or... Do I just shrug and wait for my next trip to the States and buy one locally there and save myself a shitload of money? Because either way, I am not going to pay their Australian asking price. It is offensive that they want to rip us off so very severely with a markup that is more than double what anyone else is applying to their products. GoPro. I'd invite you to explain yourself, but I'd bet London to a brick you'll never respond. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.